Welcome to Bay Hill News Network Evening News and Sports Sponsor by This Tasty Roti Skin can be found at Randy and Bonnie Supermarket Or you can order This Tasty Roti and Skin at 1784-528-2979 That's 1784-528-2879 Looking for a place to relax relax with with natural natural cool breeze breeze and friendly friendly surroundings? surroundings. Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar Bar. Located at Bay Hill Cane Garden Garden. We have everything a bar will have We also sell Shell 20 pounds in cooking gas in the news, Honorable Dwight Fitz Bramble, the parliamentary representative for East Kingstown, has called for increased investment in sustainable land use, emphasizing its critical role in the economic growth and development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. His appeal comes after attending the Global Changemaker Academy for Parliamentarians GCAP, conference in Bonn, Germany which focused on influencing G20 countries to enhance resource flows into restoration efforts. Bramble said, The main issue I wanted to draw attention to, is the insufficient attention paid to sustainable land use and the importance of preserving and restoring our land resources, particularly in developing countries such as SVG. Expressing concern about the extremely high cost of living and the large amount of money Vincent Ian's pay for imported food, Bramble said, Our food import bill is now around $500 million per year. It is crippling our economic growth and development in SVG. If we don't pay proper attention to how we use our land, we will be facing the highest food prices in history very soon. NDP is of the firm view that Hurricane Barrel justifies the intervention of the government to help ease the pressures of the cost of living crisis on Vincent Ian's. As opposed to waiting or hoping for the crisis to resolve itself, the NDP will take action. An NDP government would act immediately to reduce VAT from 16% to 13% and reduce the custom service charge to make goods cheaper for the consumer. Furthermore, an NDP government would increase support for lower-income families by expanding existing support payments for a six-month period. The NDP is committed to easing the cost-of-living crisis in the country. The new Democratic Party has called on the government to take action on the crippling cost of living crisis that Vincent Ian's are experiencing. Chairman of the NDP, Honorable Daniel Cummings said, It is clear that most Vincent Ian's are suffering as a result of the cost of living crisis and yet the government continues to fail to take action. Parliament this week presents the perfect opportunity for the government to address this critical issue. St. Vincent and the Grenadines' economy has been struggling for years and was exacerbated by COVID-19, the eruption of La Soufriere, and most recently by Hurricane Barrel. Hundreds of people are in the most vulnerable state that they have been in recent history. At the conference, MP Bramble highlighted a community vegetable garden project he started in his constituency and called for similar initiatives to be encouraged and supported. Bramble was one of 24 parliamentarians from around the world who was selected via a competitive application process to attend the conference, for which over 300 parliamentarians from 70 countries applied. The NDP is committed to raising awareness for the need for proper use of our land and marine resources to address issues with our food security and reducing the high cost of living faced by Vincent Ian's. The St. Vincent Chocolate Company in partnership with the Miss SVG Pageant Committee, will be launching a unique and exciting promotion featuring our signature Vincentian Chocolate 30G bars. We are reaching out to invite your esteemed media house to cover this special event at the La Vue Hotel and Beach Club on Tuesday, August 27 at 10 a.m. As part of ongoing efforts to support local events and promote our premium products, we are introducing themed chocolate bars that will spotlight the six talented contestants of the Miss SVG Pageant. Each contestant has been paired with one of our exclusive chocolate flavors and will be featured prominently on the wrappers of their respective bars. We believe that this initiative will not only boost sales but also raise awareness for the upcoming pageant, creating a strong connection between our beloved Vincentian chocolate and the cultural celebration of the Miss SVG pageant. Moreover, we are excited to share that customers will have the chance to win tickets to the event by purchasing our 30G chocolate bars. Golden tickets will grant an all-access pass to the pageant, while silver tickets offer limited access. We would be honored if your media house could attend and cover the launch of this innovative campaign. Your coverage will play a crucial role in spreading the word about this exciting collaboration and the opportunities it offers to our community. Thank you for your consideration.
We look forward to your positive response and to welcoming you to this delightful event. Primary and secondary school teachers across the country SVG have started to prepare for the new academic year, 2024-2025, with Professional Development Week, Monday 19, Friday August 23, 2024. As a reminder, all teachers of secondary schools and technical institutes are invited to participate in the activities planned for subject day as seen in the schedules here, Wednesday August 21, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Educators will engage in enriching workshops and collaborative sessions designed to enhance their teaching skills and strategies. Winning this award is an incredible honor, said a Clee Olton. It's a testament to the resilience and spirit of the Baroli community and also to my commitment to developing indigenous film productions in St. Vincent the Grenadines. I am deeply grateful for the recent support of the Ministry of Tourism, Youth, Sports, and Culture, and I look forward to continuing to represent St. Vincent and the Grenadines on the international stage. As an alumnus of Cuba's esteemed International School of Film and Television, Olton's win holds special significance. The award deepens the cultural ties between St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Cuba, fostering a greater understanding of both nations. Medulu, the Seaman continues its global journey with upcoming screenings in Indonesia, French Guiana, and the United Kingdom. The film's voyage from the shores of Barolai to the global stage is a testament to the resilience and cultural richness of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and a tribute to the enduring spirit of its people. The Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force is investigating the circumstances surrounding a shooting incident that occurred in Greggs on the night of August 19, 2024. The deceased has been identified as 27-year-old Rakim Matthews, a laborer from Greggs. According to reports, Matthews was discovered by his brother at the back of his home with apparent gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the scene by the district medical officer, DMO. A post-mortem examination will be conducted on the deceased to ascertain the cause of death. Vincentian filmmaker Akli Olton has once again brought honor to his homeland by winning the Best Short Documentary Award at the 18th Festival Internacional de Cine de Gibra in Cuba for his film, Medulu, The Seaman. This award-winning documentary delves into the heart of Barolai, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, capturing the essence of the community's resilient whaling traditions amidst the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Medulu, the seaman emerged as a standout among over 900 films from nearly 40 countries, showcasing the best of global cinematic talent. The film's selection for the official competition was a testament to its quality and impact. The festival, held from August 6 to 10 in the picturesque town of Gibra, Cuba, provided a platform for Olton to share the authentic stories and culture of a traditional Vincentian community with an international audience. A consultation was held at the Fisheries Conference Room in Kingstown, bringing together fisherfolk, fisherfolk organizations, non-governmental organizations, and civil society organizations. The event was inaugurated with opening remarks by Honorable Sabato Caesar, Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, Fisheries, Rural Transformation, Industry, and Labor and Mrs. Jennifer Cruikshank Howard, Chief Fisheries Officer, who presented an overview on the fisheries sector status post. The primary focus of the consultation was on recovery initiatives for the fisheries sector in the aftermath of Hurricane Barrel. Discussions center around the documentation of damages reported by stakeholders and exploring opportunities for collaborative efforts moving forward. Participants actively contributed by sharing the challenges currently faced within the fisheries sector and offered recommendations to address these issues. The consultation served as a platform for stakeholders to engage in meaningful dialogue. Now Regional News, Her Excellency, Dame Graca Machel, former Mozambique Minister of Education and former First Lady of Mozambique and South Africa, is coming to Barbados for our season of emancipation. Dame Machel, widow of former President Nelson Mandela the will take part in an engaging and dynamic exchange on the concept of freedom and emancipation within the 21st century and what it means for people of African descent, especially women. The event takes place at the Frank Collymore Hall, Bridgetown at 6.30 p.m. with a cocktail reception to follow afterwards. Through this exchange of ideas, the meaning of true freedom and independence would be explored to examine the concept of emancipation in today's context. Frank Collymore Hall, this Friday, August 23, 2024, at 6.30 p.m. with a reception to follow. All are invited. A park and ride shuttle service is available from the QEH playing field to the Frank Collymore Hall and runs throughout the night. All are invited. Second Vice President of the Democratic Labour Party, DLP, trade unionist Walter Maloney says he believes the current factions that have evolved within the party all started when opposition leader Ralph Thorne named two senators before meeting with executive council members. 
He added that Thorne also made a move to disband a shadow cabinet named by then-President Ronnie Yearwood which then added gas to the fire. Maloney made the claims during an emotional town hall meeting held at the Ellerslie School recently. The Governor-General, Her Excellency of Granada Dame Cecile Lagrenade left the state August 19, 2024 to attend to personal business. The Governor-General is scheduled to return on August 29, 2024. Former Prime Minister Mr. Tillman Thomas has been appointed to serve as Governor-General in the absence of Her Excellency, Dame Cecile La Grenade. We now move to the international news. Kamala Harris will be officially confirmed as a U.S. presidential candidate at the Democratic National Convention kicking off in Chicago. Addressing the convention in an emotional speech, outgoing U.S. President Joe Biden vowed to be the best volunteer for Harris's campaign, telling supporters they are in a battle for the very soul of America. The world's oldest person, Spain's Maria Brañas Morera, who was born in the United States and lived through two world wars, died Tuesday at the age of 117, her family said. Guinness World Records had officially acknowledged Brainia's status as the world's oldest person in January 2023 following the death of French nun Lucille Randon aged 118. Maria Brainia's has left us. She died as she wished, in her sleep, peacefully and with... In sports, Heron Beer North Leeward Inter Village Football League. Monday, August 19, 2024. Results Old Boys 1 vs True Maca and Rose Hall 0. North Leeward Sports and Cultural Organization Football Results for Sunday, August 18. Group 1 Kier Tuns 1 True Maca School 1. Group 2 Chato 0 Pito 5. Registration to participate in the 2024-2025 St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College Semester 1 Sporting Competitions is now open. Continuing students across all four divisions of the college can now sign up to display their skills in the SVGCC 6A Side Football Knockout Challenge, the SVGCC Football Selection Series as well as the SVGCC Invitational Netball and Invitational T10 Cricket Competitions. The new students who will join the SVGCC family in September would go through the registration process upon completion of their orientation period. The various external entities who also bring their flavor and flair to the competitions can now register for all of the Semester 1 Invitational Competitions, the SVGCC Invitational Football Championship, the SVGCC Invitational Netball and the SVGCC Invitational T10 Cricket Competitions. The top footballers from the college to emerge from the SVGCC Football Selection Series would then join external entities in the prestigious SVGCC Invitational Football Championship. The Windward Islands Cricket Board, WICB, and the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, TTCB, are excited to announce the inaugural youth cricket series between the Trinidad and Tobago Under-13 team and the Windward Islands Under-13 team. This historic series will be held in Granada from August 23rd to August 28, 2024, and will feature four limited overs matches. The series marks a significant milestone in the development of youth cricket within the Caribbean, providing young cricketers with another opportunity to gain valuable experience and exposure at a competitive level. Dwayne Gill, president of the Windward Islands Cricket Board, expressed his enthusiasm for the upcoming series, stating, this series represents a crucial step in nurturing the next generation of West Indian cricketers. We are thrilled to host the Trinidad and Tobago Under-13 team and look forward to witnessing some exciting talent on display. The experience gained by these young players will be invaluable as they continue to grow and develop in the sport. Joao Felix has finished his Chelsea medical and is now finalizing his transfer stethoscope. Chelsea have agreed a permanent deal worth up to £46.3 million with Atletico Madrid which means Conor Gallagher's transfer to the Spanish club is back on. Following the first meeting of the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier Leagues, CPL, Health, Fitness and Wellbeing Advisory Board the tournament is launching a major initiative to promote fitness and exercise throughout the region. The CPL has worked with Barbados-based fitness instructor, Spinny, who has created a six-minute cricket-themed high-intensity interval training, HIT, session. The video of this workout will be featured on CPL's social media pages and Spinney will be leading fans in the workout at Kensington Oval. In other territories the CPL will be arranging for fitness instructors to be leading fans in the new workout at CPL matches with dates and times for these activities to be confirmed in due course. The Slonka would like to congratulate Selena Ross on her selection to the West Indies under-19 squad. The team will be off to England to play a series of matches from the 19th of August. We wish her the best and encourage to continue to work hard and keep the flag flying. She follows in the footsteps of fellow St. Lucian Zida James who played for the regional U19 squad at the inaugural Under-19 Ladies World Cup in South Africa last year.
Selena has been training under the guidance of the HP. This have being Bayhill News Network Sports. Audio Jungle. This have been Bayhill News Network Evening News and Sports sponsored by. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bayhill Tree Bar, located at Bayhill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell shell 20 pounds in cooking gas at the Bayhill Tree Bar. This tasty roti skin can be found at Randy and Bonnie Supermarket. Or you can order this tasty roti and skin at 1784-528-2979. That's 1784-528-2879.